As the weather turns cooler and the holidays are just around the corner, I'm always looking for a great party punch. And this one is full of great flavor and is super easy to make. In fact, I like to say it's like drinking the holidays in a glass. Now we're going to begin with a great supermarket shortcut. This is pear juice, easy to find in your local supermarket, and three cups will go into our saucepan. Thick and rich and full of autumn goodness. Now to that we're going to add fresh ginger. Now fresh ginger is a little more expensive in the market, but you've heard me say many times the payoff is well worth the extra dollars. This is beautiful flavor and will really add some depth to the punch. Now to that more great spices. In go some cinnamon sticks and we all know how flavorful that can be. But here's something that you may be a little less familiar with. This is star anise. Now by itself tastes a lot like licorice, but when you put it in with all these other flavors, it gives it a really great depth and really beautiful bite to this punch. Now all this goes inside the saucepan. We'll give this a stir and then we're going to bring this to a boil. Once we bring it to a boil, we'll cool it off and we'll park it in the fridge for a little while so all those flavors will marry. So now our pear and spice mixture is nice and chilled from the refrigerator and we're going to strain out all those spices. Now get, grab yourself a strainer from your kitchen, put it over a bowl and then we're going to pour this right through the strainer. This smells so good. Once it's finished cooking and been in the refrigerator for a while, all of those spices really infuse great, great flavor into the juice. Now we'll give that just a little shake, get the rest of the liquid out. Boy, that smells so good, it smells like holiday. So let's get this into a clear pitcher. Full of great flavor. Now you may be looking at this and saying, wow, that doesn't make very much punch. We're gonna add a lot more liquid to this, so you'll see what's gonna happen. So now we're going to add in a whole cup of Sauvignon Blanc wine, which will add some nice flavor and depth. To that, some pomegranate seeds. And you can buy those in the supermarket in a little jar. Some beautiful sliced oranges. And you're not going to worry about adding ice to this because ice would dilute it, right? We're going to add frozen pineapple chunks, which will act like ice, but will also add some additional flavor. And then finally, right before serving, we're going to add some Prosecco. Now this is sparkling, it's fun, it's light, it's not terribly alcoholic. Best sound in the whole world. But it will add some fizz and bubbles to your punch, which makes it really, really lovely and will help thin out that very rich concentrated pear juice. Now let your bubbles go down a little bit because you're going to add the whole bottle. And once we get this inside, we'll give this a stir and then you can serve it up. It's so perfect for all your holiday gatherings. If you decide you want to add a little more alcohol to this, some orange liqueur would be really great. You could also think about maybe doing a little cognac or a Cointreau would be nice with this. Or you could just leave it just the way it is. It's got a nice kick to it. Now we finish up the Prosecco, give it a little stir. Then you're going to start seeing all those beautiful colors, the pomegranate seeds, the oranges, the pineapple chunks. Beautiful. And then we'll serve it in some party glasses and we'll be ready to go. And if you'd like to garnish, you can always take some of the fruit from the pitcher and pop it right inside the glass. So as you're getting ready for your next holiday gathering, mix up some of this punch, but don't add the Prosecco until right before guests arrive. And this will be a festive way to add a big zip to your next party.